After bus driver starts swerving erratically, one student takes matters into his own hands. We tend to treat our hobbies as little more than secondary endeavors that shouldn't see their way out of the workshop or off the hard drive. Yet, hobbies are an important thing to have. In fact, they might just be the difference between life and death. Take this story out of Log Range, Texas, for instance. Even after one teen spent hours on YouTube watching videos and badgering his parents about his love for driving, few saw it as more than a young kid's obsession. But not so long ago, his hobby ended up saving lives. When he wasn't studying for classes at Log Range Middle School in Texas or playing after-school sports, 13-year-old Carson Vega spent most of his time learning about the thing that fascinated him most and it might have saved his life. As his mom, Amber Vega, told the The Fayette County Record, Carson has an obsession with anything with a motor. He's always watching YouTube videos about how to take them apart and work on them. That led him to make some interesting requests. For instance, Carson constantly asked for permission to drive family vehicles through some back roads in his neighborhood, he even once drove his uncle's 18-wheeler. Most of all, he coveted the family's Dodge pickup. But little did anyone know that all of that experience would come in handy. On February 1, 2018, after Carson stayed late at school to play sports, Amber realized she couldn't pick him up. He wasn't real happy about it, she recalled. Carson had no choice but to take the school bus that fateful afternoon. Right after the bus left the school around 5 p.m., Carson could tell something was off. Though he wasn't a regular on the bus, he knew all about cars and trucks. What was it that caught Carson's attention? After dropping off some students, the bus driver missed one student's drop-off spot. Then he spent an inordinate amount of time circling back onto the busy Highway 71 trying to find the spot he missed. From there, the situation worsened. You could say everyone's worst nightmare happened. He started swerving, missed a turn and went into ditch, Carson said. Then he had to back up, that's when I started thinking. Then he started making circles and stuff. He was going off into a ditch on almost every turn. I asked him what he was doing, Carson said, and he said he needed to go to the store. I said, no, you need to take us home. The driver seemed disoriented, and that was dangerous in a school bus full of children. Lives were on the line. It was obvious that the driver was having a serious medical emergency. Like Keanu Reeves in the movie Speed, Carson was going to have to play hero on a runaway bus. He hurried the younger riders, some of whom were crying, to the rear while high school sophomore Kyler Buzsek dialed 9-1-1. Meanwhile, the driver's maneuvering worsened. He almost hit a few cars before nearly toppling over a bridge and into the Colorado River, Carson said. Clearly, someone could get injured or die if the driver wasn't stopped. So, the 13-year-old took action. I was like no, I'm not dying, Carson said, so he jerked the wheel away from the driver, who by now was nearly incapacitated. That wasn't enough though, because the driver's feet were still on the pedals and the bus was still barreling full speed down the highway. He wouldn't take his feet off the pedal, Carson told KXAN News, so I kicked them over a little, so I could get the brake and stuff and turn the flashers on and everything. But Carson only stepped right into another problem. Without a safe place to pull over, Carson steered the speeding bus along the highway as Kyler kept the 9-1-1 dispatchers up to date and shielded the smaller kids from a potential impact. Would this wild ride ever end? Eventually, Carson guided the bus to a safe place to pull over on an overpass, but only after traveling two miles while sitting on the driver's lap. After coming to a halt, Carson smartly pulled out the bus's stop sign. Law Grange Superintendent, Bill Wagner, affirmed Carson's heroism. It could have been a tragedy, he said, if not for the quick thinking of the students who handled the situation appropriately. And the craziest part of it all? Remember, Carson rarely if ever rode the bus home from school. That made Amber believe there was some divine intervention at work. I think he was on that bus for a reason, she said of her son. Carson, meanwhile, was surprisingly calm about the ordeal. I'm used to driving, Carson said, before comparing the experience to sitting in the front seat of his uncle's 18-wheeler. He told KXAN that it didn't scare him to be behind the wheel of the bus. 
and he thought his heroics had earned him a little something. If I can handle a bus at 95 miles an hour, Carson said, I can handle that Dodge truck. Talk about a kid with his eye on the prize. His mother was inclined to agree. Maybe I need to rethink whether he can have the Dodge, she said. The driver was expected to make a full recovery, but what exactly afflicted him remained unknown. Hopefully he never suffered a similar episode behind the wheel again, and he can get well soon. Luckily, Carson filled in admirably. Keanu would be proud. It was a good thing Carson had driven so much before. He told the Fayette County Record that he looked forward to earning his driver's license when he reached the legal driving age. But if anyone was ever going to receive an honorary license, it would be this young hero.